Okay, the last thing we need to do in this Pong program to make it work correctly is we need to get it to stop at the end of the game. And we're going to make a game five points. Now, that should be a constant that can easily be changed by going up here to the top. Points to win equals five. Okay. Now, whenever somebody gets five points, then that means that we want to go to the game over state. So, uh, and we will be, we will just gone into the pause state here. And what we need to do then is check to see if, actually let's not do that there. Let's do it um, here. So if player one score is equal to uh, points to win and game state equals game over and same thing should be done down here except with player two so I'm not going to type it again I'm going to do that and I'm going to change the one to a two And you know you got to make sure that you put uh, this after th these two assignment statements here. Uh, first of all, you got to add the point on before you can check to see if the game is over. Secondly, uh, if I put this after my if statement, then I'm going to go from the game over state to the pause state right away, and th there's basically no point in putting this in here if I'm going to change to a different state immediately afterwards. Okay. So now let's give it a try. And if you want to test, let's press start. If you want to test this thoroughly, you should uh, test it with both players. And we are now, whoa, 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 I pushed B. So I'm not in the game over state, okay? So, what else do you want to do if you're in the game over state? Okay, well, you probably want to hide the ball. And you want to make sure you can't go back into any of these other states, okay? So, the easy, uh, the easy way to do that one is um, if game state is not equal to game over, uh, missed it. Then I can do all this stuff down here. So let's see if I got that in the right spot, and I think I did. Let's see what this one's paired up with. Okay, it's paired up with that. Those are paired up. And if I highlight this one and then scroll down, it's matching one. Oh, it's not highlighted. Let's try doing it the other way. Yeah, if I, if I click the ending one, it'll show me on the other end which one is the beginning one that matches it by turning them both gray. Okay, and what I should probably also do is um, I should, if I'm in the game over state, I should probably hide the ball. Um, so right here after, I don't want to do this twice, so I'll just check to see if uh, game state equals game over, then here's the easy way to hide the ball. Just set it equal to a big negative value and it'll go off the screen on the top. Okay, and now let's uh, start the game and push the B button, push the B button one more time, push the B button and uh, the ball has disappeared. We're not responding to the game sticks anymore and that's it. Now, uh, what is usually in our 
uh, shell program is an if statement that checks to see if the players press the back button and if they have then it uh, stops the game and I had taken that one out but we might want to put that one back in again uh, so we did hide the ball there we weren't responding to the uh, game pads anymore and uh, let's put that back in if pad one dot buttons dot uh, back If it's pressed, then what do I want to do? Um, I want to this dot exit. Okay. And you probably don't want to exit as soon as the game is over. You may want to leave the screen up there so that the players can check the score. Although in this one, it's pretty simple, but you still probably want to leave it up there. Okay, I'm pressing start. And there we go, and start. And start and start okay and now I am in the game over state and now I'm gonna hit the back button and that's the end of my program and uh, now we've pretty much got a working program here's here's one really neat thing about the way we wrote the program that is if I go up here and I change uh, these numbers here um, can change them to whatever I want to change them to and I'm going to go back to the full screen now 0 800 and 480 and now I'm going to run the program and everything should be nice and big and let's start it Okay, and I'm going to let player one score a bunch of points now. Let's see if he wins. And the jerkiness of the screen again is caused by my screen recording software. Uh, you shouldn't have the same problem. Okay, I'm going back and forth on the thumbsticks and nothing is happening. Uh, I'm pressing the B button and nothing is happening. I'm pressing the start button and nothing is happening because I'm in the game over state. And I'm going to press the back button though. And now I end the program. And we'll end the video right there.